Cancun on a one-way. I am lost. I am disgusted. I could cry, but there's too many people here. Can I get a hug? Yeah, buddy. This is Fan First Network. So next, same old fucking story. We go home to Boston in game seven. Tell me about it. As I said, I've been read bedtime stories about the amount of times the Leafs have lost in the first round to the Boston Bruins. A little shitty fucking dump in and David Pasternak puts it past Ilya Samsonov because he hasn't been doing his fucking stretches since he's been sitting on the fucking bench and Joseph Wall hurt his ankle playing sewer ball. What the fuck? Joseph Wall! We need ya! Is it a Sammy? Sheldon Keefe can't get Sammy some fucking Russian gas because we're in North America! That's not how the cookie crumbles! You fucks! You fucks! Where's Darcy Tucker? Where's Ty Domi? Where is Curtis fucking Joseph when you need him? Instead, we got Ilya, Ilya, Ilya. Go play CKA fucking Moscow next year, buddy. You're gonna look real good on a fucking team whose name I can't pronounce. I am utterly disgusted and heartbroken. It was a great game until the end. And to lose it like that in a game where it's a dumping off the boards, that's a peewee fucking hockey play. That's what they do when you're fucking six years old and you play half the fucking ice in the little fucking mini stick nets. That is garbage. That is grade A waste management garbage. Now what? That just happens again. Sheldon Keefe, Mitch Marner, there's questions. What now? You got questions, I got answers. Marner, see ya. Keefe, you're going to Cancun on a one way. Brad Treliven, I don't know what you thought you were doing at the deadline, bringing in a bunch of who? Connor Dewar? Connor Dewar? What did Connor Dewar do? I didn't even know he was on the ice tonight. Come on, guys. He missed a breakaway. That's what he did. That's he what he did. missed a breakaway. I am lost. I am disgusted. I don't have any words right now. I don't know. I don't, what do you want me to give you, man? What do you, this is, I could cry, but there's too many people here, so I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry because there's too many people here. But that's how we feel right now, man. That's what it, that's what it is being a Leafs fan at playoff time, bro. It, Cheers. It's, it, it's like clockwork every year. You know what? I'm not surprised that there is a hike in cashmere tissue orders from the North York to downtown area in the, in, in the city of Toronto. Because I'll tell you what, I'm really glad I'm a frequent shopper at Walmart because I am getting some fucking Royale tissue paper. And I'm crying like there is no tomorrow. I can say as much as I want. I'm going to Paris, Paris Texas to get drunk. There is no blonde that can make me happy enough, and there is no leaf that can put a smile on my face at this point. I am heartbroken, and I am disappointed. And you know what, Nags? They would say it on Shorzy. The Leafs don't hate to lose. You know, you know what? I think they hate to lose. They just don't know how to win. They, the Leafs hate to lose, but they do not know how to win. Resign Domi, let Bertuzzi walk. Core four has got to go. Trade Marner for Roman Yossi and UC Sorrow. I'm, I'm going to get way too drunk at Paris, Texas. I don't know. Well, Nags, that's it, buddy. I guess we'll fucking, right. yeah, we'll fucking see you right. next year, buddy. Can I, can I get a hug? Yeah, buddy. That's it. That's it. It's been a time, bro. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we won't see you back next year. Who knows? We'll have to see what happens here. You know what? I'm cheering for the I'm cheering for the Utah Hockey Club next year. Yeah, I'm cheering for the Utah hey, Hockey buddy, Club. It might be time. Whoever's whoever's a stud on that team, I'm taking first overall in fantasy hockey. Hey, buddy. Till next year. Leafs Nation. Not Eric Nagy. Not Eric Nagy also. signing off. Follow me on all socials at Not Eric Nagy. This is Fan First Network. Mitch Marner, if I see you at the Muskoka Golf Course. I'll buy you a drink, but that's about as far as I'm gonna go with your money. Okay? Alright, that's that's all I got. I will say though, Canucks bandwagon is looking like an all-time high right now. And we might have to hop on that train. Let's go. go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! I can't, buddy, I can't. Listen, I I'm looking for any sliver of hope. I know, right we're now. just trying to figure it out, man.
No, dude, no! No! I can't believe they lost again! You can't? Oh, I hate the last Salivar video of the season every year! When am I even gonna see you again? On this channel? Probably when everybody gets fired. Let's go! Good. We all feel Stop! Good. Never gets rusty! What am I doing? Into my kitchen! Producer Drew, can you fix all this? And when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs, you can crumple, crumple, yeet! Saw so that going differently. With you, wherever you are, welcome to LFR. Go, 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 go. Iggy. This isn't a victory puppy treat. You just deserve it. I, I'm half convinced the Leafs are trying to see you die of starvation. Dude, I, I love you. I lo okay. All right. It's, I don't need consolation anyway. It's cool. It's great. Oh, uh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Hello! Hi! Once again, it's funny. Every year, this video, every year! You know, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure when the Leafs get eliminated from the playoffs. It's always a lot of pressure because suddenly this channel, they're like, it, it gets good viewership. It, it, it does pretty well. It does pretty well. Like I'm not a rich man, but sometimes me and my wife, we buy organic bananas. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We do okay. But every year when the Leafs get eliminated, a quarter million people show up. Like a decent sized Canadian city. All you can do, all you can do, here's your tax, here's your payment. All right, you sicko! Here watching this, here watching this! This is all I ask you to do! Click like, click subscribe, and tell all your friends. Producer Drew, who edits these videos, I'm gonna do my best. This is just gonna be off of the dome. Off of the top of the dome, freestyling, off from memory, from nothing. I don't even know from what. Cause here's the thing. All day, all day, I was thinking about what I would say when the Leafs won. When the Leafs won. All day. And I thought to myself, is this arrogance? Is this just me assuming the Leafs? The Leafs would win? No! Because I'm not nuts. <laughs> I'm not nuts, all right? I know what I'm talking about. I know who the Leafs are. Famously, actually. I was thinking about what I would say today when the Leafs won all day. And I didn't realize until just now why that is. Because I had to think about it. I don't have to think about this. I don't even have any notes in front of me. I haven't even watched the highlights back. Saw a couple clips on Twitter. I'm still calling it Twitter. I'm never gonna call it X. I am not even gonna watch the highlights back. I don't have to. I'm a historian. I know this. I know this team. Boston Bruins fans, I know your team. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. You know the narrative change was right there too. You know it was right there. Oh. You know it was right there. I was gonna take a crown, I was gonna take an actual crown and hand it to you. Because it would be the Leafs as like the all time chokers, right? But the Bruins become the first team in North American sports history to blow a 3-1 series lead in back to back years. Anybody can do that in one year, the Leafs, but it takes a truly special team. It's never happened in the history of hockey, baseball, basketball on this continent Bruins, mmm, mmm, one goal away from doing it. But you didn't. You didn't. Because the Boston Bruins win 2-1 in overtime of Game 7 against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, I just remembered something that I have to do. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna... <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> hey, did that loss hurt? Oh, I bet it did. Well, let me tell you about InjuryAssist.ca, who this video is brought to you by. If you've been injured in a car,